Okay guys, so in today's video, we are going to do a ledger account. So please make sure that you watch the entire video because I'm going to tell you a big secret uh, that you need to understand so that you will get everything right when you do the ledger account. All right, so we have our example that we are going to do. But before we start with our example, guys, I want to teach you the principle that you have to understand first then we're going to apply the principle according to examples that we have and we fill our ledger account so the principle that you need to understand first guys the step number one you must be able to identify examples of assets which i believe that most of you you know so if you don't know guys please go and search the different uh, kind of uh, assets that we can have okay so we're gonna do some of them here but we can't do all of them in one video okay then be able to at least uh, identify and uh, what's fall under equity so i'm going to explain them into our examples and also liability part guys assets is something that owned by the business equity is wealthy of the owner like we have a capital and retain innings liability is what the company is owing um, to someone if we purchase something as a company on credit uh, it's liability to us we have to pay that person okay so the principle behind all this ledger account which also apply under accounting equation is these rules guys when you deal with assets transaction know that on the debit side record what is increasing an asset for example, if we receive money because bank is asset, debit that bank into your asset account. Okay? Then on the credit side, record what is reducing our assets. If we pay something, our money goes out, it must be on the credit side. It's a minus. Up, same apply on equity and liability, guys. Apply this principle on the debit, record what is going to reduce equity what is going to increase equity on the credit side so asset is opposite with this two if we go and borrow money guys our liability is going up but if we pay that liability we have to indicate by the debit side which is minus because we reduce the liability all right so this is account that we are going to do so let's start with a uh, transaction number one on one january Team and the owner contribute 10,000 cash for business to run TT and TT. So this owner contributed amount of 10,000. Normally this transaction when you are dealing with a sole trader, it will be the first one because before we start a business guys, we have to contribute what? A capital money to start that business or some assets to run that business. So we call it a capital. But in this case, he contributed a cash the key point is cash then it's ten thousand okay so which means that the two account must be affected there is no way that you can find a, a transaction that has been affected by one a, a component always make sure that at least two account has been affected which means that in this case we identify a bank because it has been contributed in terms of cash okay number two we found that this amount was for capital because you want to run what to run business okay now let's go to our account bank has been affected bank is an asset which means that because money has increased we are going to do what to debit a bank and we write the amount of 10,000. Simple as that. We debit because assets increase. The owner contributed money into a business. Okay? Then under a capital, because guys, you know the principle of accounting say that if we debit the one, the second one we credit. Okay? Which means that they are going to change each other the amount. Apology for this one. We have to write capital. They have to type a name. A name guys because under a bank it must be capital under capital it must be a bank a ten thousand 
they have to swipe a name. You can't write bank and bank capital and capital. They're not going to make sense. Okay. Then let's go to number two so that you can understand better of the first one. On 2 January, new equipment purchased on credit by 5,000. So in this case, we have a word equipment and credit. In other words, we purchase equipment, but on credit, we didn't pay any amount, which means that to account that has been affected is equipment and creditors control is liability, this one. Okay, now the first step, our capital on equipment has increased. Why? We receive an asset, which means that our asset has increased, even though we didn't pay, guys. Okay, we're going to write a creditor's control and amount will be 5,000, okay? But we have to indicate under a liability by showing that we purchase equipment of 5,000, but it was on credit. A liability increased. That's why we credited. A liability has increased because equipment has not yet been paid. Okay, number three, new vehicle purchased on cash. All right. A new vehicle has been purchased, which means that to account that has been affected is vehicle and bank. Cash simply means that bank. Okay, now we have to go to the bank. Because now we have paid, our bank is going down. Our bank will go down because of vehicle. 700. We credited vehicle in this case because we pay it cash. Our money goes outside the, the bank and the bank is an asset. And now... We have to indicate under vehicle that our vehicle has increased because of cash paid of 700. Okay. You have to make sure that whenever that you debit the other one, you credit. Inventory of 800 purchase on credit to keyword. We purchased inventory, but we didn't pay cash, which means that inventory is an asset. Our assets is going to increase. Okay, but this asset in increasing through a debt. Creditors control amount is 800. And again, we go to a creditors control account and indicated that we purchase inventory. But this inventory of 800 has increased what liability that's why we indicated on the credit side because we haven't paid that inventory okay tt entity sold inventory of 1200 cash to customer this is a sale we purchase we purchase inventory to our supplier and now we sold it to customer when we sold to customer we call it sales okay which means that we're gonna have two account which will be sales and cash. All right. So, however, guys, this transaction, sometimes it depends if you are using perpetual or periodic inventory system. If it's a perpetual inventory system, you were going to require uh, to also record inventory and cost of sales. But let's ignore it for this lesson purpose. We're going to do it for part two. Okay. Then now we identify sales, which means that our sales is equity. Under equity, guys, know that all expense will be recorded this side, but all income will be recorded on the credit side. Okay? So our sales, of course, is income because we receive. Okay? We receive sales um, through cash. Then amount is 1,200, okay? And we have to go back to the bank and indicated that our assets has increased because of sales. Our assets has increased because we receive cash, okay? Then the last one, equipment purchase on credit by 5,000 has been paid 
to the supply. Remember, we purchase equipment here. We purchase this equipment by 5,000 on credit. They say that now it's been paid, which means that now uh, because equipment has been paid, we must record that liability must go down. Equipment of 5,000 has been paid, okay? Which means that this amount uh, will go with what? How did we pay it? Through the bank, okay? We don't go and reduce equipment, guys. We reduce bank because how did we pay? We pay through cash inside our bank, which means that our bank is now going down. Okay? Because we paid equipment of 5,000. So this is how you should do a ledger account. So this is still part one, guys. Uh, we're going to do part two. So, But if you are watching this video after a week, uh, since it has been uploaded, go and check part two. So in part two, guys, we are going to also do a balance brought down and balance carry down. So for example, of what we are going to do under this account, we're going to make sure that we balance these two accounts like this and we calculate which side is higher. So in this case, uh, this side we have 5,700 and this side we're going to have 11,200 which means that 11,200 in this side and 11,200 this side and we're going to do a balance here and we calculate what is the difference between this and this and after that we're going to do balance carry down this side so this is what we are going to do on the next video thank you so much guys so please make sure that you like this video, subscribe. So I hope you enjoy and you have learned something. Thank you so much, guys. See you next time.